Again, give it some space to fill it up, right? We got our clean water here, we got our pH meters, and then we got a dropper. All right, make sure this is clean. And you wanna rinse it out thoroughly between each one. All right, so we're doing the bloom mix. So we need 10 milliliters of silica. About 10 right there. Does not have to be exact. And TPS silica actually dissolves a lot faster. It's water soluble, unlike a lot of the silicas, which you know to take up to an hour to dissolve. Sometimes I like to shake it though. Only after the silica and the cow mat. Just gonna douche this with water. Next up on the list, 10 milliliters of cow mag. All right, make sure you flick all that water out. You don't want to cross contaminate. a little shake. Next is 10 milliliters of fluoromicro. Alright, that's exactly 10 right there. Micro always goes first out of all the nutrients. Even says it on the bottle. All right, now we're gonna up the dosages. Dying to grow. This is gonna be 20. Next after that is going to be Flora Bloom, which is actually 30. So we're going to do 15 and 15. Signal. We're using 20 milliliters of this, which is mainly potassium. Okay. 
Alright, that's about 13, 16, 17, 18. We still need two more milliliters. So let's put that in. Alright, now optional is diamond nectar. Alright, this just helps plants absorb more. I don't use this all the time. I like to use it in the third, fourth, fifth week of bloom though. Alright, we're gonna do 20. Doesn't have to be exact. We got 18, which is good enough for me. Right. And then last, just to prevent things from growing inside, I like to add just a squirt. Just a little tiny squirt to prevent things from growing. All right, keep that sterile. And there you go. Just give it a good shake. And now we could test, double check the PPM. All right, 39.80. Now that the juice is done, you gotta carry this to someplace dark and cool.